What's up guys? We are going back to take a look at a Motu Classics figure. This is one that if you saw my recent toy haul video, you know, kind of knew where this was coming. So we're going to take a look today at Madame Raz. So this is uh, one that I recently got a hold of, one that I didn't have, and this is obviously still on card. So we're going to take a look at packaging real quick. She comes in, of course, the standard Motu Classics packaging. So we've got the gray skull bricks, we've got the figure in the bubble, we've got the Princess of Power logo sticker on the front, and then we've got the little burst that says includes bricks room down there and then the back has our logo we've got cross sell for other princess of power style figures and then we've got a bio for madam raz and a shot from the filmation cartoon so let's get right to it we're going to pull her out and we're going to take a closer look at her and broom all right, guys, here we go. Out of the package, we've got our Madame Raz figure. And I'm not really going to consider Broom too much as an accessory, even though that's technically what he is. As far as I'm concerned, he's his own figure, so we're going to talk about both of them in the sense that they're just standard toys, and Broom is his own man, so to speak. So we've got Madame Raz on the left, obviously, Broom on the right, and we're going to talk about articulation first, but we're going to move Broom aside. We'll talk about him in a minute, because he obviously is a little less than Madame Raz. We'll see how... This this old lady moves around first. Now, as far as moving her around, she is somewhat similar, but also at the same time very different from other Motu Classics figures. And, and obviously that comes out down mostly because of the fact that she is just so different in size. You know, we don't have any other Twiggets in the line, so she is really unique in terms of how she is shaped, which of course influences her articulation. So the head is where things are really standard. You got a ball peg, you can move up and down a little bit. She does have a big head of hair, so that kind of gets in the way. And swivel side to side, of course. Arms can go out all the way. Her shoulder pads will sort of get in the way. They kind of lock in with the shoulder itself. And then you can swivel in that shoulder joint. You can rotate at the elbow. You have a single jointed elbow for bend, which is normal. And then we've got rotation at the wrists, which is pretty normal at this stage in this line. Uh, legs, you can kick forward, you can kick them out. Uh, we've got rotation at the knee, and then there is a single jointed hinge. We have got rotation at the ankle, and then we've got hinges down there as well. So she is very standard, but also at the same time she is uniquely articulated just because of, you know, what she is and how she's shaped. And, you know, she's a squatty little woman, so there's not a whole lot you can really do outside of making her move certain ways, and she's not exactly a dynamic character in the show either, so at the end of the day, I'm not going to do a great deal with this one except pose her standing upright on my shelf. Where she really shines for me personally is her look. So at this stage in the game, we didn't have the Filmation Club Grayskull line of figures, but there was a definite movement in certain ways to make figures who had never had figures before kind of look a lot more like their Filmation counterparts. And I think Madame Raz is a pretty good example of that. So she will, you know, once we finally get her, I think she'll go pretty well with the upcoming Club Grayskull She-Ra that we know we're getting from Super 7. Because this still looks very cartoony. And a lot of that comes in for me in the head and the, head, the hat and, you know, the flower that's up here on the top of her head. And everything about this, the patchwork, she's got the patches on her hat, there's patches on her on her tunic. Everything about her isn't necessarily as quote-unquote classicized as some of the other figures. She is a lot of flat colors. There's not tons of shading on her, but she looks very, very good. She still fits in pretty well with the classics figures, but I think she's really going to shine, thankfully, now with the upcoming Club Grayskull uh, Princess of Power figures. You know, I think she'll go really, really well with She-Ra, and then, of course, we do have the Filmation Hordak already, and I think they'll play off each other pretty nicely. In terms of what she does offer, though, I like the way she looks. I'm really happy with it. We've got some shading on her tunic, on her uh, down around her waistband. We've got the painted belt. Most of the legs are just kind of solid colors. We've got the patchworks, which I've already mentioned. I like the patchwork design. And then we've got this kind of soft uh, rubbery cape. It doesn't offer a great deal. It's like a half cape, but it does what it's supposed to do. It looks like the show. We've got her hair popping out of the back of the hat. I've always liked her weird, goofy hat. So you can see that with like kind of the flower pinwheel style design there. We got her kind of muted purple skin and her eyes that shine through the hat, which, you know, is always a funny look, funny design. And it works really well here because, again, she does look very filmation, but at the same time, she still fits in pretty decently with the classics figures. Thank you. 
Now, Broom, on the other hand, is his own thing, but at the same time, he is, like I mentioned, he's billed as the accessory. So, Madame Raz is the main draw here, and then she comes with Broom. But I still think of him as kind of like a bonus pack-in figure, because he is a unique character. He may be a Broom, but he is broom, so that's the character. And he is articulated, I'll, you know, it's very, very minimal, but he does have articulation. They could have cheaped out on this, and they didn't. He's got swiveling and hinged arms, so you can give him a little bit of life, and I like that. I think that, again, just like with Madame Raz, he fits in pretty well with the Classics figures, but I think he's going to fit in really, really well with any of the Filmation style figures, because he still retains a lot of Filmation look. I mean, he's a goofy, you know, anthropomorphic living broom. You can't be too serious about this. He is what he is. I think they got the face down really well. He's got kind of a, a smarmy look on his face. A good good small application of paint on the face, and then for the most part he's just kind of a, a brown, and he's, he does have his, uh, you know, yellow bristles down there at the bottom, so you can kind of sweep up a little hoard trash with him or something, but I do think he's pretty cool. I like the fact that we got him. It's a fun little inclusion. He does have a little bit of an issue for me right now standing up, and I think that's mostly because he's been in the package for so long, but other than that, you know, he's got a flat uh, bottom there. He'll stand up just fine once I get him kind of positioned correctly, and, you know, what's Madame Raz without Broom? So this was a perfect accessory slash bonus pack-in figure to include with our Twiggit. So yeah, there's not a great deal to gripe about with this particular release. I like Madame Raz. I'm a big she fan. I'm a big fan of the show. So this is one that, you know, I probably should have gotten sooner, but she works really, really well for me. I'm going to be very happy to add her alongside my Adora and Bo and she figures on my shelf. And of course, the bonus pack in of Broom is just icing on the cake because at the end of the day, this figure does work pretty well. She looks damn near exactly like the Filmation show, but at the same time has enough little extra details to warrant being a quote-unquote classics style figure and not necessarily something that came out of the current Club Grayskull. So I am very happy to add this one to my collection. So that's going to do it for this look at the Masters of the Universe Classics Madame Raz and Broom figure from Mattel. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and until next time.